Hey guys, the name is Chris Barachi. Welcome to Licks with Chris. It's been a long time since I've shot a Licks with Chris episode and I'm so looking forward to these each and every time. We're going to be checking out a lick I played in my Comment Time 12 video. Here's the clip. <laughs> During the shooting of that video, I tuned the tally lower. I don't know how low, I can't remember, but I think it was at least like drop C sharp, maybe even drop C. Um, I was just experimenting with, uh, I don't know, different tunings for fun, basically. Uh, I tuned my tally back to normal, like standard E, and I dropped the E string to D. So it's drop D tuning right now, and here's the lick once more in this tuning. <laughs> Okay, it's a tricky one this time. It's definitely not a beginner's lick, but uh, it's a great exercise as well. So um, if you just want to learn the technique and you're not there yet to play it, like full, don't worry about it. You can just benefit from learning all the little hammer-ons because basically the whole thing is just a bunch of rhythmic staccato um, notes and bunch of hammer-ons. One more important thing for you to know about these Licks with Chris videos is that I don't use tabs. I don't want you to, to look at tabs and read tabs. I want you to use your ears and, um, and train your hearing uh, while we're learning these Licks. Of course, I will show everything and you, I have two cameras here, this one and that one, uh, just to, to make sure that you see everything that's happening. But um, it's, it's just very important to train our ears as musicians doesn't matter if you want to become professional musicians or just hobby musicians, it's a very, very important tool and makes us a better musician. So let's do it with that in mind. Okay, first five notes is going to be uh, staccato notes on the drop D string, like this. The first two notes are downstrokes. And then the third, fourth and fifth are going to be upstrokes because they don't come on the uh, on the hits they come between they are ands so one two three and four and one and it's just way easier to follow the rhythm if we follow this uh, picking pattern so it's going to be two downstrokes one two and then the third fourth and fifth are going to be upstrokes one and, and so one two three and four and one and one more one two three and four and four and and then we swap to the D string, the fourth string, and uh, there's gonna be an open string. And then a hammer on on the 10 and then on the 12. So. That's it. So the beginning and the, uh, the D string is gonna look like this. One, two, three, four. These are triplets, by the way. And then we'll do the same thing on the G string, which is gonna be zero, hammer on 10, hammer on 12. So you only picked two times, one time the D string and then one time the G. And then to finish up this first part, this is going to be again the D string and then hammer on 7, hammer on 10. And then together. Uh, 
And then we move on to the second part, which is almost the same, except for the ending. The only difference is that at the end, there's no uh, open string anymore. So when I'm done with the D, 0, 10, 12, G, 0, 10, 12, I'm going back to D7. That's it, just one note. And let it ring, okay? So the first and the second part of the lick. One, two, three, four. Okay, third part of the lick. Very similar at the beginning, but it's one note less. So um, I'll not play the open drop D string this time, but the eighth fret. That's gonna be my middle finger because it's right there. I had my index finger on D7 um, as the last note of the second part. So I'm right in that position. Middle finger makes a lot of sense. I will play the eighth four times only. I'll basically just hit the strings in the middle, but I will dampen them. So it's probably the D, G, and maybe the B string as well. Whichever I find <laughs> with my right hand. That gives me time to move from the 8th fret to the 12th on the G and the 13th on the B. So this is going to be the third part from the first notes until I jump up there. All right, I don't play that note very long because I bend with my ring finger. And this is the, the bluesy part of the lick, basically. I'm doing this uh, G and B string together thing where I bend the G string, so. And then I hit the string again and release that bend. Okay? You don't have to be super exact with that bend. It's, um, it has to be convincing because uh, that's the only thing that really matters if we're talking about these bluesy, sort of unclear bends. Um, it has to sound like you mean it, but you don't have to be like super exact. It's sort of a um, one fret higher. But if you do these bends right, they, you don't really hear the note exactly. You've bent, basically. Um, it's more about the vibe. And then there's a pull off. You pull off the G string with the uh, ring finger to the 10th uh, fret with the index. And you can let go of the B string you don't need it anymore. Just make sure that your index is sort of dampening that B string. Otherwise it would ring out and uh, you don't want that necessarily. And to end this little segment, I have the ring finger on the D string 12th fret. So. And that's the last note of the third part of the lick. Once more real slow. One two, three, four. And then the final part of the lick, the fourth part, is gonna be the fifth fret on the drop D string. Again, same rhythm and uh, five notes. So the same as uh, in the first and the second part of the lick. And then we have, again, that 0, 10, 12 on the D string and then 0, 10, 12 hammer-ons, of course, on the G string as well. And the last note of the full lick is going to be the 10th fret on the B string. So this, of course, means that I only pick three times um, throughout this uh, part. One time the D string then one time the G string, and then the last note, of course, the B. 
So this whole lick is pretty easy on the right hand, on the picking hand, in terms of speed. But you have to be even more accurate because you only have a couple of notes that you pick and those have to be super accurate, otherwise the whole lick will sound very sloppy. I'm struggling with this lick, I gotta be honest. When I'm recording it, I need a couple of takes until I'm super happy with it. And um, even then, there are players who are way more accurate than I am, but um, yeah. Now I really wanna see your progress. In case you're on Instagram and don't mind posting uh, your progress, just tag me in the caption of your post and uh, I'd love to check it out. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, see you down there in the comment section, of course, and we'll see each other in a week. I'll be back. Bye-bye.